This week on CNB Bazaar Buzz, we take you inside the Rolls-Royce factory at Goodwood. Indian auto engineering students and their latest R&D work. And the latest innovations in the automotive world shown at the Paris Motor Show 2014. Hi everyone and welcome to CNB Bazaar Buzz. You've seen me driving into a very special campus here in a very special car. The Rolls-Royce Wraith is the newest member of this family and we are right now at Goodwood, the headquarters of Rolls-Royce, both from the management and the production point of view. So, on today's episode, it's a special visit. We're going to take you through the plant, show you a few bits of the manufacturing of uh, this car and of course the rest of the range as well. So first a quick word on the car. The Wraith revived the nameplate of a Rolls-Royce model from the 1930s. It was unveiled at the start of 2013 and has been significant as it added an additional model line to the Rolls-Royce family. The car is based on the Ghost and yet being a four-seater coupe, it had to have a more definite driving character and sportier appeal. So what we wanted to create was a car that um captures some of the essences of sort of like Charles Rolls Charles Rolls what would he have liked to have driven in sort of like today's world and what we felt would be perfect is um the most powerful Rolls Royce that we've ever done The Wraith is still a Rolls Royce and so is rather large proportion at over 5.2 meters long yet its body style suggests power and agility Now you remember when the Wraith first came out everybody was talking about this particular panel because of course you had the nice swept back look coupe like styling it implies speed it's also this fender which is nice and muscular it bulges out gives you that sense of the kind of power and uh, speed this car embodies it had to look different because uh, you couldn't just think of it as a coupe version of the ghost it had to be its own car and uh, as i mentioned the implication of power and performance had to also come through in the face though of course you pick up some of the typical rolls royce uh, cues which perhaps also have to be there because that's what the customer wants when the car drives up regardless of all its performance it needs to also look stately and elegant this is why its face is that of an imposing luxury saloon the parthenon style grill very much emblematic of the brand Inside the car gets special treatment with large wood veneer inside the doors called Canadel paneling a first for the car world and the Wraith also houses a full starlight headliner which emulates a starry sky on the roof lining The twin turbo V12 is packed with power. Well, 620 horses and a massive 800 Nm of torque that's available as low as 1500 rpm. This translates into immediate performance attributes. The car doesn't hesitate for a second. The 8-speed auto gearbox works in tandem to give you exhilarating performance, and the chassis is stiff enough to afford you great handling. despite the vehicle's bulk and weight. Now when you get into a car like this it's got this massive beast of an engine under the hood. You're already expecting it to be powerful so that part's not a surprise. What is nice though is that there's a nice little blend of you know typically a lot of cars try and blend comfort with a little bit of a sporty dynamic feel. Well on this car you actually got a nice elegant sort of a feel because remember the magic carpet ride now you got to maintain that if it's a Rolls Royce. and yet throwing in that little dynamism getting nice tight corners in and a very precise steering wheel that's been fun we have new technologies like satellite aided transmission and what this does is this 
allows the car to look ahead. What's coming around the next bend? What's coming ahead of you? And using um, the, the map information, it can make sure that the car's always in the perfect gear. Now let's take you into the plant where the Wraith is made. The Rolls-Royce headquarter in Goodwood has been around since 2003 and it's a special design as it was meant to blend into the surrounding environment. That was a precondition for the BMW group to get this land from the Goodwood estate. So what's essentially different from the last time I was here at the plant is the fact that you have the Wraith on the assembly line as well. There are two lines, there's the Phantom line which is over on the other side and then this one houses the Wraith and of course the Ghost. That one back there is Ensign Red, nice to see some colour on the line this time around. And here you have a colour called Arizona Sun on this new Series 2 Ghost. Yes, you could get literally any colour you wanted to. Match your favourite dress or even your dining room curtains. Rolls-Royce made over 3,000 cars last year and the number may get closer to 4,000 this year with a full year of Wraith production included. Not only is there a greater demand for Rolls-Royces but there's a higher percentage of people wanting detailing and customizing on their cars. That's the, the plant back there as you've seen it before on our network as well and then you've got this whole new segment, this whole new section that was expanded and the building kind of grew. So everything you see behind me now where the final testing and uh, the final inspection on all the cars happens, all of this is new, it was opened in 2013. The bigger plant has meant an increase in efficiency and facilities getting upgraded too. And the company now boasts a very special water test that checks for leaks in newly built cars. All rates in particular go through it as it's the newest model in the plant and so do all phantoms given the clientele involved. They call it the monsoon test system as water is literally sprayed at high intensity onto the car from all possible angles and sides, the top and bottom too. The first test takes two minutes in the water and the car then has an eight minute test. Right, so this Wraith has just been through its eight minute test. Now you might wonder why a car needs to have first a two minute and then an eight minute test. Well, the first one's just the basic one. So if you have any major leaks, they'll show up right away and then of course the problem has to be addressed. But once that test is done and the car passes that, well then it has to go through a more intensive one as well, just to make sure that there are absolutely no problems, no leakages. Any new model or prototype gets even more attention and the full monsoon test is then conducted. Um, on the new product we would do extended testing on all new products. We do lifting of each individual wheel, we lift the side of the vehicle and we do a monsoon test, we do an extended high pressure test and then on a vehicle that's been in production all vehicles receive a two and eight minute test and the fans from all phantoms will get the extended test. So is the monsoon test longer? Is that the monsoon test is longer, it, consists, it lasts for four hours and it's at a much higher pressure. If a more detailed look is required, the team uses an endoscope to go into crevices and areas within the car's body that a camera or human eye cannot see to check for leaks within the frame. While here at Goodwood, I want to introduce you to Ankush Chopra, an Indian engineer who works here. It's good to see you here. Thank you for speaking to us. And uh, I have to start by asking you, how did you, how did you come here to Rolls Royce? Tell us the story. It's a dream and passion. Uh, when I was a child, I saw somewhere the court from the Henry Royce. So Henry Royce take the best that exists and make it better. And then I decided that whatever the company is, I have to be there. And the Rolls Royce is the company which always strive for the perfection. And this is that how everyone here is contributing to the company to make its mission true. It's been about seven months you said that you've been here now. So what's your responsibility on a day-to-day -day basis? What's your job? Uh, on the day-to-day on the -day job, daily basis, it's the reviewing, developing the processes, planning the new projects, training the associates. It's with the motive that we can sustain the pinnacle quality which the brand has 
and which the customer expects always. So one last thing then, uh, you, like you said, you've been here under a year, but uh, it, it, you've had quite a journey. You had different jobs that you did. You of course studied here. You also worked in Italy, but still, if you think about it, uh, you know, coming from Hosharpur, it's, it's a huge journey. It's a big difference culturally as well. So uh, are you now at home here? Are you settled in? Uh, yeah, I will say I'm enjoying here at the home of Rolls Royce. It's, it's a cosmopolitan environment here. The company and every single expect appreciate the, his, their employees. So I think the, I'm enjoying, I'm proud and I'm living my dream. Excellent. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank Congrats. you very much. So we're in the English countryside and we've got some nice woody mountain kind of twisty roads. So I've been having some fun with the Wraith. It is time for us to slip into a short break here on CNB Bazaar Buzz. We come back with Indian auto engineering students and their latest R&D work. And the latest innovations in the automotive world shown at the Paris Motor Show 2014.